Hey guys, what's up? It is Orange Glazer here, and today we're discussing if Valve's most recent update actually helped deter bots from the game. Now, as all of you know by now, uh, if you've seen my latest video, Valve released an update on June 16th of 2020. They've restricted certain new accounts from using chat and official matchmaking modes, which basically means that the bots that join your game that like spam the chat with a whole bunch of spam you'll no longer see that as often. Now, does that mean the bots are gone? Uh, no. Actually, this update only made it so where bots are actually silent. Usually, the people who put out these bots love to spam the chat, and they do this for, like, attention and just trying to, like, ruin everyone's fun, right? But now that this update is released, they won't have the satisfaction of spamming the chat. They'll at least have that knowledge that maybe their message is not being sent to everyone and they're just a big fucking joke, you know? Now, does this mean that Valve is just not going to do anything about the bots anymore? Well, if you've looked into the post, you'll actually see that work is ongoing to mitigate the use of new and free accounts for abusive purposes. Now, TF2 isn't the only game that has this problem because Counter-Strike Global Offensive while it used to be a paid game, it is now free, just like TF2. And with such a large audience of people for shooter games, that game is a good test subject for experiments that they could also run on TF2. Now, while experiments like Cases have failed miserably in TF2, the cheater problem is definitely something that they can get on. What does this mean? Well. One thing that they could implement in TF2 is the Overwatch system. No, not the game that Muselk left TF2 for, but a different system of where you can actually watch the cheaters, and if there's visible proof of them cheating, then you can actually put a report on them, and this case gets sent to multiple people in the Overwatch system, and with enough reports, that cheater can get banned. Believe it or not, this system works very well in CSGO, and you get thousands and thousands of cheaters that get banned by the Overwatch system. So overall, it's not too harmful, especially if you have people with thousands of hours in TF2 still playing the game, they can usually tell who's a cheater and who's not a cheater. I feel like they could very well implement this, especially if there was like a main class that you could choose to where you would want to watch them play, right? So if you're a pyro main and you want to make sure, I don't know how you can cheat as a pyro to be honest, maybe if you're like aimbotting with a shotgun, right? But if you're a heavy main, uh, there has been aimbotting heavies, you know? Uh, if you're a sniper main, that's probably like the biggest wave of cheaters that there has ever been, because like, come on, let's be honest, when is somebody not cheating a sniper in a two-fort match? And this could very well be a good way for Valve to, uh, you know, mitigate the use of new and free accounts for abusive purposes. Now, where does that lead us? Well, TF2 has tried to go competitive in the past, right? But that failed, mostly because of servers and cheaters. Valve very well has the money to put in the servers for TF2. It just depends on how much money they want to actually put into the game. But their cheater problem is something they face both in CSGO and TF2. Now CSGO also has the prime matchmaking status, which means that if you've paid a little, you've put in your phone number, you can enjoy games with people who also have that prime status, meaning they put money into the game, and cheaters are generally less likely to put money into the game, like the uh, no-hat sniper that joined your 2-fort match. Now with prime matchmaking in TF2, what that could do is allow us to safely play competitive game modes and not have to worry about cheaters as much. Sure, you might get a single cheater in one out of like 20 games, but that's a lot better than what it is right now because we are facing a lot more cheaters than maybe just 1 in 20. Maybe it's just like two cheaters in at least one of the five games that we play. Now, it's important to take in mind that whenever we do face cheaters, we've already played the game for thousands of hours. 
but the new people who are new to the game, if it's their first game in TF2 and they get cheaters, that's going to deter people from playing the game. So yeah, is Valve going to do something to get rid of the bots? Apparently they are, but we'll just have to wait until that happens. Thank you all for watching and sticking around for this commentary. It's mostly just like a few thoughts on what I think is going to happen. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, click like. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe because I'm going to keep doing more. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.